Hi friends! I'm here today with my birthday haul. Um, I have most everything that I want to show you here with me right now. Um, some things are still on order so I don't have those today to show you. Um, but I will tack it on to the end of this video as soon as I receive it. Um, so my birthday was February 27th. Um, the first place that I went to was Old Navy. And this is what they look like if you've never seen the rock star skinny jeans. Um, and then as you get to the bottom obviously they're very very skinny but as you can see they are the rock star and look how stretchy these are these are the best these are my favorite jeans by far um, I absolutely love them um, I did wash them I wore them for the first day and then I realized you had to wash them first because the um, the color does bleed and I got like the very dark dark denim um, and the color does bleed on you if you don't wash them first so Lesson learned there. Um, the next place that I went to, actually, you know what? I'll do this first. Um, you guys know that I have um, this Alex and Ani bracelet with the R on it. I showed it in a previous vlog. Um, I That was the only one that I had. And for my birthday, my mother picked me up um, the daughter one. It's a flower and it says daughter on it it's so pretty I love it and my grandmother picked me up uh, the Mother Mary one which is really awesome so um, I've been wearing those three like crazy every day since I got them I've been stacking them on, on my wrist wearing them and I absolutely love them TJ Maxx um, I did have again birthday money for this stuff as well cami actually um, and this is what it looks like it's just a plain white cami it does have the molded cups but and usually I hate that but as you can see for this one they're sewed in um, so they're not gonna like come out and go all crazy on you when you you know go to wash it um, so they do have like the seams on the side um, and they're the ones that are like very very stretchy they're not the cotton ones um, that I usually wear but it's by the brand poof and I got the size um, medium large um, so this is what it looks like and I absolutely love this I cannot wait to wear this so that is that is he so cute back here um, so that's all I got at TJ Maxx um, the next Target so I saw this hanging on the end uh, on the aisle I had to have it this is what it looks like have like three quarter sleeves kind of feels like between a sweatshirt and a sweater material it's like in between there um, but I absolutely loved it it was only $20 so again with birthday money I picked that up hi friends sorry about that my um, memory card was full um, again I will have other things coming so look out for that um, but that is all for my happy birthday haul so thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye hi friends I'm here with part two of my birthday haul um, I mentioned in the first part that I had some things coming from Ulta um, and they came in today so I figured I would do part two um, so I've got some stuff from Ulta I have a small coastal sense um, a couple of things from there and a couple of things from Walmart um, that I got and this is all with birthday money um, so I will start with Ulta the first major purchase that I made um, with Ulta is the Naked Palette. Um, I know that everybody has been talking about this. Um, when it first came out, it came out a couple years ago, I think, um, and I never got it, but I finally picked it up. Um, let me open it up and show you. This is the brush that you get on the inside, um, and it's a very stiff brush. It's kind of thin, it's very stiff, great for packing on color, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then there's a little mirror. And these are the colors that you get um, on the inside. Sorry the lighting is kind of crappy in here today. Um, so there's a bunch of um, light shimmery colors. There's a couple of like um, nude matte shades in here and then some darker shades out at the end. Um, I'm not going to swatch this because if you Google, you know, Urban Decay Naked Palette swatches, there's probably about 50,000 of those available, so go check that out. Um, but I have not used this yet, and I'm super excited to test it out. So that is my first major purchase, again, um, with birthday money. The next thing that I got was this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. <laughs> I 
We have visitors. Did you want to be in the video? You're a good boy. I know. I know. Toby said hi to everybody. The NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in Gleam. And this is like a rose gold color. I'll swatch it for you on my hand. It's so super pretty. This is what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it's obviously a liquid. Um, and it blends so nicely. And it's the prettiest rose gold color. It's probably not going to show up because this lighting is crap. Um, but as you can see, it's so shimmery. And it's so pretty. I absolutely love that. Um, so that's what that looks like. Um, oh, you know what I forgot to mention is the Urban Decay Naked Palette does come with a mini primer potion. Um, so if you've never seen the primer potion, this is what it looks like. This is just like a deluxe size sample. Um, and this basically just keeps your eyeshadow in place all day long so it doesn't move and crease on you. Um, the next thing I picked up at Ulta is um, an, an Essence lipstick. And this is in the color Glamour Queen. Um, and it's really pretty. It looks sort of like a brown color, but then when you swatch it, it's more of a, um, like a nude berry sort of color. That's what the color looks like right here. Sorry, my lighting is so crappy. I feel like the sun is coming in so funky today. That's what it looks like. That's a good, it's so pretty. I picked up another Essence lipstick. I love these. This is in number 57. And this is gorgeous. This is like a true like reddish berry color. I love this one. This one seems to be more sheer. So this one has much more coats on it. Um, but this is this one down here. As you can see, it's like a deeper. You know what? Hold on. It's so pretty. The next thing I picked up was this essence and this is a new collection i think it's the essence nude glam nail polishes and this is in the color it does not say the color on here um but i believe it was something like peach something or other this is kind of more true right here um but it's like a peachy nude it's not coming off like it is probably from the crappy lighting um the next thing I picked up, and I love the NYX Jumbo Pencils. They had one in Rust, and I just got the eyeshadow a couple weeks ago, so I figured I'd pick up the Jumbo Eye Pencil to go with it. Um, this is what the color looks like. And these are excellent bases. Um, obviously, I wear like the Painterly Paint Pot or you know, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but then put this underneath over, and then the eyeshadow over top and it will not go anywhere. The next thing I got is a new product by Essence and this is the Kiss Care Love Lip Balm and this is in Fruit Crush. Um, this smells so good. It's like a peachy pink color. This is what it looks like. It's not really showing much color here. I was wearing it earlier. It's not sticky and it's so moisturizing. So I might have to try more of these. They were super cheap, like $1.99 or $2.49 or something. The last thing that I got is the Essence French Manicure um, Tip Guides. Um, the free samples that I got this time, um, this is the Redken Color Extend Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, and being, you know, a blonde or with color treated blonde hair, I definitely need things to make my color last. Oops, I dropped something. Hold on. The next thing I got is by Bare Mineral Naturally Luminating Moisturizer for Combination Skin, and that's what it looks like. I'm excited to try that. It's in a cute little pack. And the last thing, this is really exciting, it's by Redken. It's called Curl Wise Curl Defining Cream for Coarse Hair. I don't really have coarse hair, but we'll see how it goes. I've heard really good things about Redken, and I've never tried any of their products, so that's cool. Um, next, I'll show you the Coastal Scents. Um, the Coastal Scents Camo Quad and Light, and then this is what it looks like. I'm so excited about this. Um, there's like a salmon color, a yellowish color, a white, um, and then the actual skin tone color. So I'm so excited about this. I've heard great things. So I'm really excited about that.
And then they sent me this little sample, which I believe was in the glam bag, um, but mine smashed when it got to me. So I'm so excited that I got this, um, but there's some little samples and it's um, dark golden olive, Arctic breeze, navy, ba navy baby, and daisy shimmer. The last things I wanna show you um, are from Walmart. Um, this is just from Walmart, some sponges. This is a hard candy nail polish in number 622 crush on pink and these are new um, So I'm so excited. This is absolutely beautiful. This is not showing true at all on camera, but it's glittery and gorgeous um, And then I got two lipsticks from the flower line. Um, this is Drew Barrymore's new makeup line If you guys have never heard of it, I got one luxury lip color and I got one um, I guess they're both luxury lip colors one of them is matte, though, and I'm not sure at this point which one's matte, so we're just going to find out. Uh, I got the white one, and you can see the rose gold packaging, and this is in Petal Kiss. I'm going to do this on my opposite hand so you can see. This is the matte one. The white one is the matte one, um, and this is what that looks like. It's so pretty, and they're so pigmented, and you know... The smell of these is really not bad at all. So there's that. This one is the shimmery one, and this one is in Morning Glory, and I thought this would be so pretty over top, actually, of the other one. This is what this one looks like. And this is like a true Barbie pink color. This is what that one looks like over here. Look how shimmery that is, it's so pretty. Yeah, that is it for my birthday haul. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, rate, and subscribe to see more videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!